no, uh, totally. And and just actually moving <laughs> on to say decision making. Now, um, are there any thoughts you have about you know the say sort of system one and system two and that Daniel Kahneman his sort of work on that? And some people I've talked about they say that okay you can. Um, it, it depends on the environment you're in, um, and I've, I've heard of this term like kind and wicked environments, where you have predictable um, patterns, and where others you don't have predictable patterns. And I remember from playing sports that, um, say, I, I, I played to a relatively high level, and actually when I played my best, I wasn't thinking because I, I sort of had all the practice before and then I was looking for patterns. But then when I saw something that wasn't you know, from my past experience, it was at that point you have to change. I mean, when, you, when you're thinking about decision making, uh, what, what do you think, uh, Frederica? Um, what, well, uh, first I want to first I want to hear what sports you you did. <laughs> well, I, I, I played cricket. Um, ah, I, cool. Yeah, so I, I, I played to um, uh, yeah relatively high level, and I actually got paid to play in one match. It was at the lowest level possible. So technically, I'm a professional athlete with a very short career, uh, but, <laughs> but, but I was with people who were much more successful. So yeah, yeah. So so cool. So I think research to go you know to link to that athlete experience. Most athletes don't think and research shows that when they have to analyze a game their first gut instinct was the right one and when they think too much they get worse yeah and so i think it all comes down to whether you're an expert or not when you're an expert your gut leads you in the right direction if you're not an expert it could just be in bias so because in our brain we have basal ganglia which is where our experience is stored where pattern are stored and recognized and so it's important to understand in which field you are the expert, then you should trust your gut, and in which field you are not the expert, and that's when you should do a lot more effect searching, you know, a little bit more analytics, thinking harder will lead to results, while if you're an expert, thinking less will be better for you. I see that with many executives, they often tell me that when they not prepare their speech, the speech gets better because I've done it so many times, speaking to the people in, let's say, a town hall meeting or something. Of course, you want to know what you want to tell people. Of course, you don't want to get on stage and then just say, oh, I didn't prepare. But if you have it in your mind and if you've done it before and if you have a clear strategy of where you want to go, sitting down for hours writing a speech is not going to be necessary for you because you can just speak from your heart. So I think it's important to understand when you're the expert and then you can just improvise and when you're not and then you need to put a little bit more of that work in and also when you lead people we need to become a bit more appreciative i think of gut feelings and intuition because right now we always think you know we need to test everything everything needs to be fact-based i get that there's you know ai analytics big data I'm not against it. I love statistics. It's not, I love math. Um, I get it. It's just that very often people have a gut feeling. They know what they want. And then they ask the right experts to give them a model that just justifies what they just wanted to do. So very often we have what Gerd Gilorenza calls defensive decision-making. People use consultants and models to model something they want to achieve i can model you anything you know you just have to plug in the assumption assumptions and it will give you either that you know you know it will give you the desired result, so to say so very often i think there's a mistake that people trust the numbers because they don't understand that the numbers can be faked so easily and manipulated um as with statistics so i think we need to be a bit more appreciative of gut feelings and intuition and people could be more honest and say I have a gut feeling that this is what I want to do rather than saying I hired these 20 consultants and they told me that their data model tells me that this is the right thing to do.